The name of our group is Tycos. We're an Australian-based group that has basically fallen in love with this uh, wonderful art form that uh, comes from Japan called taiko or perhaps more correctly is wadaiko. Taiko is actually the Japanese word for drum. Although its roots go back you know, many hundreds of years, it's really a very contemporary art form. And since particularly the 1970s when it really exploded, it's really become more of an international art form. And now in Australia, it's been growing for the last 15 years or so. People say that there seems to be a very sort of calm, almost meditative aspect of what we do. So even when you're playing full out, there's something that's very you know, centred and focused. And I think it's like great dancers or, or, or even great sportsmen, you know, uh, where there is that sort of outward uh, physicality, but uh, an inward calm. It's a very physical way of making music. There's obviously that almost choreographic theatrical element that people really respond to, so it's as much for the eye as the ear. But I think ultimately what I love is being inside the collective sound, being enveloped in that energy. That's what we're striving for and ultimately it's, it's getting the music across and expressing something about who we are as people and musicians. We're Sydney based, but we see ourselves very much as a national ensemble. We quite often tour right through regional Australia and we tour internationally. It doesn't matter really where, uh, uh, just getting out on the road is always a thrill to be able to share our music with, with other people. Actually giving people in the general community uh, the experience of also playing the taiko, it's a really important part of what we do, as equally as important as that performing actually. You go, da, and then you gather your energy close to yourself and then you let it back out. And if we can do this together as a group, it's really exciting. Let's play. And... Oh, it's so fun, oh my god. It's so good to take out my energy of the school week as well. It's, and it's fitness, basically. It's really cool. I love the, the deep rhythm and the team feeling about playing with a group. I like creating patterns, hearing them go together and hearing pieces sort of change as everybody starts to learn them, especially when they're very large, complicated pieces or when they involve a lot of different styles at the same time. That's one thing about the taiko, and I suppose in some ways a lot of drums, anyone can get that sort of immediate satisfaction from creating a sound, and even then, of course, you put two sounds together, you've got a rhythm and patterns and so on. And of course, as human beings, we're fascinated with sound and pattern making. So that's uh, one of those things that I think connects us as people the world over. I like taiko because it gives me something to learn other than dancing and um, at schoolwork. It gives me a new culture uh, other than, you know, it's just Australian background. Uh, coordination, he um, can remember his pieces without having to read cheap music like he does with his saxophone playing. He becomes one with his group, same as we do in the adult class. We around lovely people who play and have got a lot of passion for it and the instructors are so lovely and they've got so much passion for what they do, it's great. Not just the musicality, it's the culture that they learn about. It's the wonderful sort of family atmosphere that it has here. It's a very, it's like a big hug here at Taiko. So they love it, but they learn all about discipline and about working as a team to achieve. like anything, the, the more you go into it, the deeper you get, the more you know you don't know, until eventually this whole sort of world opens up. It's not just about drumming, it really is a whole world of movement and song and dance and, uh, and the flute, the shinobu and shakohachi. And so we have a whole gamut of, of different sessions that we run and classes and clubs. And so it's a real joy to be able to share our knowledge and expertise and, and love of the instruments and the art form uh, with people. When you first see it, you think, wow, like, I want to do that. But then when you start doing it and you start feeling it, 
in you, it's something different altogether. It's like playing the taiko when you when you watch it and you you go, wow, that's incredible. But when you stand behind it, you play it and you feel the vibrations and everything. It's like it gives you some kind of energy that you wouldn't you never experienced before. I love music, and I'm not particularly musical. So part of my frustration with the piano was coordinating the left and the right hand. But I can release it through the drumming and through the flute, and I think I have more patience now. It's the exercise, it's the social aspect, it's the relaxing aspect. Um, it's fun. There's no other way to say this. I, come, I would come more often if I could. I just think it's really unusual and really interesting. Having such talented people, like Taikos is one of the best groups in the world and having the access to them in Sydney is just really great. It's dancing with yeah. fans and swords. and swords, like there's no other thing <laughs> like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Don. Don. Con. Right, left. Taikos also works in a number of schools. We have a number of uh, permanent ensembles in some uh, high schools and primary schools in, in Sydney, and so they've got their own taiko clubs, so they're all performing on occasion and so on, that's a lot of fun. But we also uh, travel around all over Australia, in fact, uh, giving concerts to schools and workshops. Fantastic, very good. And we love to give workshops whenever we roll up in a town and a new venue. Even though often it's just a one-off, I think once they get that bachi or the drumstick in their hand and when they really get that sense of being able to make that sound on the taiko, it's, it's like it just sort of really enters their, their body and you know the vibrations are so strong and they have a very visceral, very kind of earthy sense of what it is and inevitably it draws them in. And then when they come to the concert perhaps they can really go, wow, yeah, I can really feel a, a connection with the performers on stage. And so it really, I think, really helps bind that connection between audience and player. So again, it becomes a more holistic experience for all concerned. I think one thing about uh, our compositional process, but also the material that we use, we do draw very much on the roots of Taiko. So there's this incredibly rich heritage there so on the one hand, it's sort of keeping in touch with those things. But then, you know, as contemporary musicians based in Australia, of course, we have to express things in our own way. We play many concerts a year and we're developing new programs and projects all the time. And it's really just finding little germs of ideas and inspiration. And we do that in a variety of ways. One, of course, is just inspiring each other, but also, too, it's uh, collaborating. We do a lot of collaborations. We've worked with John Bell of the Bell Shakespeare Company and Meryl Tankard, one of Australia's greatest choreographers, and Andavali and Lingaliam, an amazing South Indian dance company. All of these people and many others have contributed to inspiring us and, and helping us create uh, new music and, and new theatrical forms. Just recently, Taikos has been working with an amazing musician called Kaoru Watanabe. He was for almost 10 years a member of the, the very famous Taiko ensemble called uh, Koro, and it was a real thrill that he accepted uh, our invitation to come to Sydney and work with the group. The idea is, I think, is it's always going to be light, so it never has to get intense. Like, even at the ending, it doesn't have to be that. Yeah. It could just still just be nice and... The idea is that it should be playful, yeah. but not like digging. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Can we do it one more time? With Kaoru, he really does bring a, a, a truly um, creative and spontaneous approach. And he was really drawing on so many other aspects of the, the Taikos musicians, really drawing out quite deep things, I think, within the group. And I think what made that particular project so special was pooling everyone's creative ideas and, and pulling that together for what was a very uh, beautiful program. I do appreciate for people it is kind of, it's a little out of the ordinary, so you've got to kind of take a little bit of a leap into the unknown, uh, but I, I can guarantee that people will have a, I think, a very, um, what would you say, a very uh, energising and stimulating experience. Thank you.